Welcome to Silly Smoke Bang News the Reporter here out on the YouTube street. As you guys could read, we are going to be talking about some very difficult and delicate situation here out on this YouTube street, guys. Yes, guys, um, get your coffee, your tea, whatever you like. And um, let's get into this situation here out on this YouTube street. Yes, Silly Smoke Bang, are you ready? Is everybody ready? Ahora, welcome to Silly Smoke Bang. Ahora! Welcome, guys, to another Silly Smoke Bang reporting our news and all of that. Here out on the YouTube stream. <laughs> Well, there's a lot going on. I see you guys like my new look. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in busy, girl. Yes, yes, busy, busy. Busy, let me tell you. Don't push it to Yes, guys, welcome to another reporting, guys, here out on this YouTube street. Like I said, there's a lot going on on this YouTube street in all sector, but we are here to report, um, you know, what is a little bit most important because, of course, I cannot be covering everything, especially this couple of weeks. Bear with me this couple of weeks because I am busy. Now, let me, there you guys will hear, okay, so this, you're busy, whatever, I'm busy too. <laughs> Everybody is busy, especially also next week. The children are starting school. Hallelujah! Yes, I know all the parents out here are just like. Yes! We're all happy. Now, today I went to do some uh, shopping and. Oh, we did a lot. We did a lot. We did some shit, and we're still not done. Tomorrow we're gonna do for the second time. So all the people who are supporting me and they don't see me on the YouTube city, bear with me. I will be watching the replay, or I will be in the bushes because sometimes <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Sometimes I, I, I cannot breathe. I'm just like. But no, I'm here to support, you know, you. But what is going on? What is going on down there in the in the chat? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> but big love, big love. One love, one love for the YouTube streets. And one love for my sector. Let me tell you, no matter what, this sector. Let me tell you, the Mark Bank sector, the slow sector, the Mark Bank T sector, drama sector sector whatever you want to call it let me tell you, this sector we are the we are we we are the one and kind of sector in this youtube street <laughs> it's doing a lot of shakara on this youtube street and i have to say the one moment we are good with each other the one moment we are bad with each other and then we are good and then we are bad then we are good then we are bad then we are not bad then we are good and then we are good, then we are good, then we are good. It's all over the place. But yeah, you gotta love it. This is YouTube. <laughs> okay, but let's get into the news. I haven't been talking a lot. Already. What are we going to talk about? Of course, yeah, as you guys could read, because like RuPaul say, reading is fundamental. It's about PP. 
aka Miss uh, Philly Phil. Now there's a lot of things and a little bit more serious also things surrounded um, Philly Phil and all of that. And we're going to be talking about it slightly, delightly, politely and friendly. We are going to be touching about it. And also um, I will continue reporting about PP's um, situation over there because she is still talking about the sweetie pie also. And um, I'm very curious, and I don't know if you guys are curious, but I am very curious to see where this all is going because there is a lot of things going on as even as we speak, guys. So um, let's get into all of that, guys. Yes. So the first thing, um, we the question is that should PP stop talk about this whole situation? Because apparently there was a phone call. Now, I'm not really clear about the phone call because I couldn't find that video. I think the video about this phone call is private. Let me say that. Allegedly, I don't know, but I think this video is private, guys. And somebody have called and asked BB to stop to talk about the sweetie pie, um, to be specific about Tim. Allegedly, now I saw a money boy tray. Shout out to money boy tray over there. Um, you know, you know, everybody wear that thing, what they do on their channel, yes, people. I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing. So he had um he had a life. He had a life. And as I speak, he's still on the life. So wait, wait a moment, guys. Because I want to read this. He has a life, he's still, but now he changed the topic. Um, so shout out to Money Boy. Money Boy, as you guys can see, I'm so busy also over here. Do you guys like my stuff? This is my Harry Potter. <laughs> I bought it today. It's a pen, guys. It's a pen. As you guys, if you know me, you know me. I love Harry Potter. Yes, I have a big card for Harry Potter, the movie and all of that. So as you guys can see, yes, I bought it today by Primark for two euro. I was like, yes, I need to have my pen. And let me tell you, on this YouTube street, we need some magic. Pew, pew. If you know what I mean. So he had a life and the life was saying it would feel really feel a talk show and more. Life since being life since being told by the family to stop talk about Andre. But there was a phone call that um apparently PP had. Um somebody have left a message. I think it is a family of um Andre and this one you guys can hear it on PP's channel. I have understood is that somebody have, have asked PP to stop talk about Tim. But I saw this on Money Boy Trey. He say Andre. He say Andre. Let me read it again. It says to stop talk about Andre. But I understood that the uh, caller have asked to stop talking about Tim. And the whole situation. Now, I don't know which one it is, but apparently, allegedly, you guys can let me know in the comment section. Was a caller, uh, I think it's a family. PP have put it on here on her channel, and the caller left a message. And the message was saying a message from the Grits family on behalf of Dre. Hashtag justice for Dre. So there is a, there is a family. Uh, so the family apparently allegedly is behind. I think it was him. So um um listen guys, listen guys. This is the thing. This is the thing. Should PP stop talk about this family? Because as we all know, there is a lot of people on this YouTube street is talking about the sweetie pie and all of that but um like pp is also doing but of course um there was a video and the video is still up and this is the video that have caused pp uh getting sued by miss robbie because miss robbie felt that she Sweet. was because of the formation of her character so yes guys what do you guys think because a lot of people the the, the 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 thing is divided guys the thing is divided because let me explain a little bit 
listening. Why people are 50-50 divided in all of this. And I can say I understand both sides. I understand PP doing her commentary about this situation. But I do understand also um, about how Miss Roby is maybe feeling also. And also about on this side, then you have Miss Roby and all the people who are doing their commentary about uh, PP. And then on the other side, you have PP that is um, going against the people who is talking about PP and also who is against PP that is talking about Miss Roby. So you have two sided, two sided of people. Now, I understand both sides. Let's be clear. I understand both sides. So the thing is, PP is doing commentary about Miss Roby in the lawsuit. People are calling in and seeing things that, you know, is all allegedly. It's not PP saying that. So PP also has a whole history here out on this YouTube street. Keep that in mind. Then you have the other side that is against that PP is talking about Miss Roby and the whole situation. But keep in mind there are other people also talking about it. But I don't know if on the other channels there were people went and talk about and, um, in a kind of way that Miss Roby felt like her character was um, there for me. You know, there for me. So also on this side, you have the people that is talking about also why PP um, is talking about this family while she have other things, you know, concerning her own uh, family and all of that. Now then you have people that is against that the people are talking about PP and her family situation. And then you have the other side is saying, yes, but you are talking about uh, uh, Miss Robbie. Miss Robbie even sue you. Why are you continue talking about Miss Robbie? And if you don't want people to talk about you, but why you keep on talking about Miss Robbie and the family? So this is a whole complicated situation out here on this YouTube street. Let me tell you. So the question is, should PP, what do you guys think? Should PP stop talk about uh, Miss Robbie? about the team and all of that because I know she's trying to look for justice for Andre, fine by me. But she's getting threatened from different sides. She already got sued. Now she got a phone call asking her to stop and let that be the last video. But apparently that have not stopped her because she um, definitely have make a video and we are going, go we are going to go through that video. Now, what do you guys think? Should she really stop talk about this family? Because she might can get another suit. It's possible. Now, I've watched another channel. And this channel was also advising PP to even have took the video down. And have even apologized to uh, Miss Robbie. And maybe Miss Robbie wouldn't have continued with the whole suit and all of that. So some people, some channels think it's not smart what PP is doing. Also to continue to talk about on top of it that you are already sued. To continue to talk about the Miss Robbie and all of that. PP has started a petition. Yes, um, she has started a petition. And the petition was about stop bullying her. Yes, guys, she have started a um, petition. So she started a petition because Philly Phil is feeling like she is being bullying, bullying out on this YouTube street, guys. What is going on? The petition is not opening. What is going on? The petition that she wants people to sign is please sign the help stop bullying Philly Phil petition. Hashtag it's my choice. Hashtag private adoption matter. Hashtag woman rights. And also she included the bullying and the harassment in this petition, apparently. And also she was talking and promoting the enough is enough. Yes, guys, like I told you guys, this is YouTube. Today we are fighting. Tomorrow we are drinking coffee. Also, <laughs> what I just found out today, that the production of PP is back, guys. Oh, 
I was like, excuse me. Don't forget the production was on a channel saying that they don't like the way PP is moving on this YouTube city and they were clearly done with PP. But apparently they have put their things on the site and the two um production uh -huh. um apparently are fine with pp again so apparently also have we're gonna go to that video too yes 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 so um okay so pp feels like she's being harassed bullying and she feels like she have her right and all of that on this youtube street now um and now people are saying okay you feel like you're being bullied if you like being harassment on and all of that but people are also now saying that they feel like Miss Robbie is also being bullying and being harassed on this YouTube stage of you. So, you know, it's a little bit tricky. What do all you of guys you? think? Should PP stop talking about Miss Robbie because um of she because of the people that is supporting Miss Robbie is seeing that she's bullying Miss Robbie right now, or um should she stop because then people are going to stop bullying her and all of that? But we are going to get into that a little bit. Um, Sweetie Pie, Tim Normans want to hide Andre's text message. Dre was horrified. This is the name of the this video. Another content creator. We don't always agree on everything, but we agree on we agree on the, the bullying. A local <laughs> And if you like, you can go check her channel out. Okay. Lord, that I was telling you guys that um, uh, she is also supporting the enough is enough. And yes, they were not on a very, very good part. And uh, <laughs> I uh, found out it uh, very, very well. Yes, 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 yeah. Because after my interview, I got the boot from uh. us um, because of Philly Phil. <laughs> <laughs> because of the interview. All right. Uh, shout out to Augustin Rello for that management. Management. Okay, my YouTube team. Uh, so, guys, as you guys can hear, Augustin Rello apparently is back in the management team after they have um, already said that they are done with Philly Phil. So, apparently, they are back in the management team. So, um, yes, yes. Um, that was also a surprise. Like, that, that's what I'm telling you guys. That's what I'm telling you guys. There's a lot of times here out on the YouTube street, people are fighting with each other, say the most disgusting things about each other. And then some couple of months or days or weeks, <laughs> they will drink coffee with each other. <laughs> Tim feel like to be hunted and stalked and, and, and chased down by, by someone or, or some, some, you know, by an individual or many individuals. What kind of life is that to live to know you're being hunted, prayed upon? Stopped, harassed. Tim is after me or something. Listen, guys, I have to say, PP is throwing a lot of shades in her videos. Um, you know, she's talking about the Tim and the Sweetie Pie situation, but between it, she throw a lot of shades. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Um. You know, this is the thing, Pippi. I'm going to be listening to all the shades. Yeah, I'm here for the shades. I'm here for it. I want to hear it. But if I hear it, I will definitely point them out. Yes. And I feel like, you know, it has to stop from both sides. I'm just saying. Put in these documents if it didn't happen. The feds use the word allegedly a whole lot of times. You know, that's one of my words for to use allegedly. Allegedly. If it's good enough for the fans, and it's good enough for me. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So, guys, as you guys could hear, Philly Phil said that the word allegedly, the fans apparently are using it um, a lot of time. So, if they are using it a lot of time, that is good for her. She's going to be using it too. Now, um, this allegedly and all of the things that is going on, we will definitely find out in the court if it's going to be on your side, Philly Phil, because... <laughs> <laughs> um, I pray it is because I have to say for all the content creators out here, if Philly Phil go down with this, this has a lot of influence on all of us content creators and especially the one that is doing interviews, that is taking phone calls, that is doing um, reporting, name it, all of us is going down in a kind of way because that means that we need to be checking very very carefully um what we allowed and let on our channel stop lying because you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get the air force the army the marines and the navy and i'm coming Shade. okay and that's gonna be the petition that's all of you guys Shade. that petition is the air force the army the navy and the marines all put together it's time to fight 
Shit. Okay. Justice for Drake, justice for Carlita. And, then she and make back. sure you sign the other petition. Here we go. Enough is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. Guys, listen, Philippeel is throwing hard shade. This is not a, this, this, the last one was not a so soft shade. This was a very hard shade. If you know, you know. So, um, by talking about this last shade, um, I'm going to be totally honest to you guys. This shade, I felt like it was meant for her daughter. Shout out to Binico. I see Shout out to you, girl. My sister in Christ. Yes. My sister in Christ. Let me tell you. This uh, holy fire on you. Holy fire on you, girl. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. In the name of Jesus, you're going to see it's going to be fine. Now, I have to say, I have to talk about this slightly politely and delightly. I will not be talking about this situation, but I'm going to let you guys know Be Nicole. Uh, her daughter have left a message on her community tab guys yes guys um and the message um i'm going to read the message with you guys it's not that long so we can read the message because the last shade that miss philly phil have thrown um it i felt like i felt like it it's my opinion that uh, you know was a little bit through this to the daughter because the daughter um is in the marine in the army and all of that she so she works so so i was like oh feel you feel feel you feel you know, you know it, it from both sides both sides you know it has to stop but um Billy Cole have definitely um i hope Billy Cole have definitely put an end from her side by uh, putting this message on her community tab. So I'm curious to see how Philly Phil is going to react on B. Nicole's message. Um, with tears in my eyes, I must say, I surrendered, Lord. I'm so sorry for any pain I have caused you, Philly Phil. And she tagged Philly Phil in the message. I publicly want to apologize. I don't think about you or what you had to endure growing up or at that time when we met. I have learned you can put your expectation on another person. I just thought about my feelings at the time. I just wanted you to complete that mission vote I had experienced all my life. I am so sorry. I want you to get the peace of mind you have been longing for. I <clears throat> I want the same on, on my end. I wish you well in life. I will always love you no matter what. I am not for all the beef, only peace. I love God and I will let go because I love you that much that I truly don't want you to hurt any hurt anymore. So to all my supporters, subscribers, my people that have been down for me since day one, it is done. Let, let her be. I do want her, I, I do not want her to be embarrassed anymore doing to her past action with me or my father. Forgiveness and self-accountability is in order for me as boss woman of faith. I have to walk what I talk. Then she put a scripture under of the Bible. I signed, and she also said, I signed the petition. My channel is going to be cleansed from negativity so I can focus on God's work for me. I am still stay gang. Yes, yeah, she said, I am still. She put the stake there. Mm -hmm. She clearly said, I am still a part of the stay gang. Um, she put, I think she put a link to the to the um, petition uh, of Philly Phil, of um, the petition that Philly Phil have made. And she said, you all bless Pinico and all of that. Yes, guys. So um, Pinico have publicly apologized, guys. She have publicly, publicly apologized. And um, she also asked everybody to let it be you know, uh, reporting about the situation itself that is um miss robbie and philly phil um i didn't report much even about the whole um daughter and mother situation um but um from now on anything i have done um i will not do so you know i will not even 
um, anything, you know, my prayers and all of that will be on the back end and me, that is between me and God and all of that. But like I said, I really, really wish, really, really wish, this is really one of my wish that a Philly Phil and uh, her daughter, Bini Cole, can settle it. You know, you guys don't need to be drinking coffee every day. But at least, you know, at least, you know, have forgive each other. Bini Cole have um, apologized. She um, have forgive. And I hope that Philly Phil can also forgive her. And um, yes, you know, and, and that's, that, that's a beautiful thing. That would be a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, so... Um, she put a link to uh, Philly Phil, her petition, stop bullying Philly Phil, and support her choices. Um, hashtag is my choice. There must be a reason why um, Philly Phil did what she did, and I will never judge her about that because um, I, I mean, my, I'm not gonna judge her about that. I, I never, ne I never judge her also about that. So um, my only wish is that they can forgive each other. And in you know get in contact at least for the grandchildren you know um, at least for the grandchildren I don't want to say too much I, I would I can sit here and give you an example about even me and my mother but this YouTube street you know sometimes you need to hold some things back because you know <laughs> when you open your heart here on the YouTube street they will they will flat make a joke about it or they will make mockery about it or you know they will make it a whole life story about it they will flip flop it up and down put it together put it out together they will <laughs> so the only thing i can say is that philly phil philly phil pp do it for the grandchildren at least and also for your for your own forgiveness is a powerful powerful and in, oh, I, I'm getting goosebumps as I speak. So ooh, let's not talk about it. That's all I can say to PP. Try to forgive. Try to forgive PP. And um, at least contact the grandchildren. That's all I can say, you know. Hopefully, you know, I, I cannot put my mouth in it. I'm, I'm definitely not going to put my mouth in it. But that's at least. So guys, yes, this is the situation. What do you guys think? Pipi should stop talk about um, the Sweetie Pie, the whole team and all of that. Or should she continue fighting for the justice for Andre and, uh, and for the, uh, all the other cases that she's talking about? Also, Beanie Cole have uh, uh, publicly apologized to PP. Should PP uh, forgive Nicole and all of that? And should um, the other people who are supporting Beanie Cole also uh, let it be? And that doesn't mean that, um, you know, um, support other channels will stop talk about the situation of uh, PP with Miss Robbie. That is a different situation. I think people definitely can still keep on reporting because the same thing that Philly Phil is uh, reporting about Robbie, while Robbie have asked PP to stop it, she's continuing. This is how publicly the whole situation is right now. The whole the court papers and everything is out there, you know. So uh, MPP herself have put her own court court papers out there. So it's all public right now. The whole situation of PP and all of uh, Miss Robbie is very very much public. So guys, um, this is definitely a situation. I don't know. We're going to continue watching how this is going to um, develop and all of that. Um, as you guys can see, um, we're going to continue reporting and see what is going on with Philly Phil, a.k.a. PP, over there with this whole situation. But about the Nicole situation, we will not mention it. We will not talk about it. We will not even sing about it. We will not even preach about it. Pray I will do in the back with me and God. I will make a room for two and it's me and God. But that's it, guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Big shout out to my supporters, the Ahora crew. And Latoya, hello, 
don't forget to send me an email i'm just seeing yes check my email on the description in the description down here latoya latoya come in latoya 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 come in latoya <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. It's your girl, Silly Smokebang, the Mokbang News Reporter, here out on this YouTube street. And like I always say, God bless everybody. Stay blessed, everybody. And you know it. Ahora, Silly's in the building. Bye, guys. Doo doo.